Hey, Tulsi Gabbard. I have some ammo here. And as I go through this ammo, you're going to quickly realize that uh, this has nothing to do with the Russian stone, which I've been talking about in my other videos. Uh, and it has nothing to do with the Lockheed Martin stone. And as I go through this, you'll understand what I mean. Because everybody wants to say Russia, Russia, Russia. And not everybody's everybody in the media and in Washington and everything. Not everybody in Washington, but like the Democratic Party. They want to talk about Russia because they're all hacked by Lockheed Martin. And Russia is Lockheed Martin's scapegoat. Now, the story about the Afghan stingers is perfect symbolism, and that's what it is. It's just symbolism for what these regime change wars are all about. You see, Sputnik is a stone, and then the Hub Bull telescope is Lockheed Martin stone. So you got brain and you got snowball in, uh, in uh, Pinky and the Brain, right? And I'm Pinky. So I'm, I'm pinging in information from a source that doesn't come from either one of those. Now, I may be attached to both of them, right? Of course, DARPA came here when I joined the Army, okay? So what I'm doing in Pinky and the Brain and, and also Operation Vigilant Eagle, uh, the FBI has a computer, and they thought I was a Russian agent, so this computer showed up, right? And I'm teaching it what's really going on, FBI. So after this is all over with, and I've destroyed everyone, uh, if you tortured me, whoever that was, and I'm pretty sure it was Lockheed Martin, I'm almost positive of that, I'm going to own you if you survive, okay? I just want you to know that. So in Afghanistan, we uh, uh, Russia was over there fighting a war before we ever were. And what this is going to prove is what these regime change wars and everything's all about. None of it's about terrorism, okay? Because Russia was over there fighting terrorism, right? Or, but what they were really doing was they wanted to conquer Afghanistan and take their land, just like we do. But you see, for some reason, we don't ever finish the job. We just go over there and a bunch of people die, and that's the globalist model. What it is, it's a way to purge patriots, okay? You send your patriots overseas to wars, and if they don't die, they're driven insane, and when they come back home, they've got to live with that for the rest of their life. Now they have technology that drives, that mind controls them into suicide. And even the FBI's Operation Vigilant Eagle considers these highly qualified veterans as lone wolves under Operation Vigilant Eagle. So if you go fight for your country, when you return home, you're considered a lone wolf, okay? Now, isn't that just a, a SOAR operating system, like Soros, SOAR operating system? And these names like that, like Trump, who was supposed to trump all of this, tells you everything you need to know, okay, about how they hack a baby's mind and make them elite, when it, Lockheed Martin does. All of these, it took years, it took Skunk Works years to get to this point, to where they had the puppet strings on everybody in the media and everybody in Washington, so that they can, in Pinky in the Brain, that is Lockheed Martin, so that they can uh, carry out their world domination plan, okay? The whole key is in Pinky in the Brain. Now, the Stingers. So I've already made videos on my YouTube channel, so you'll have to go watch them uh, uh, about Afghan stingers. These gunships from Russia are over there shooting up Af Afghanistan for terrorism, is what they claimed, right? Okay, and so we send these over-the-shoulder fired, heat-seeking, badass, whatever, they're, they're called stingers, but they'll take out a gunship, right? That are just, I mean, you, you just point it in the direction of the gunship, and it takes the gunship out. So we sent a whole bunch of those over there. And as these helicopters were flying over, they now they had American technology over there. The Afghanis did. We gave them these stingers. They shot the Russian helicopters down out of the sky, okay? And then Russia retreated and said, okay, fine, we're not going to attack Afghanistan. We're not going to fight terror. We're not going to fight terrorism in Afghanistan. So we ran off the Russians who were trying to kill the terrorists in Afghanistan before we went there to kill the terrorists for Afghanistan by sending 
Stinger missiles over there, right? See how this isn't making sense? So instead of letting Russia kill the terrorists that were in Afghanistan, we ran Russia off so that we could go over there and kill so-called terrorists in Afghanistan. Do you realize that these terrorists, so-called terrorists in Afghanistan, live in caves and shit over there? These people that supposedly pulled off 9-11 lived in caves. If you, live, if you learn the symbolism, it tells you everything you need to know. We're not in Afghanistan. We're over there to purge patriots, to try to conquer the Middle East, right, before Russia does, okay? And we actually, and they're, we're all claiming that we went there to kill terrorists when, we, when nothing can be farther from the truth. If, we're, if we wanted to kill terrorists there, why did we run Russia off who was already there killing terrorists? Right? See how that doesn't make sense? You see why my logic is not anywhere nearly as flawed as everybody else's who's under mind control of Lockheed Martin and they want to conquer the world? That's literally the game plan here is for Lockheed Martin to conquer the world. They're controlling everything with Fusion GPS. And that's just symbolism. So, you, you, I mean, it, you see how that doesn't make sense? We're, we stopped Russia from killing terrorists in Afghanistan by sending stingers over there so that we could go over there, we could send our troops over there to die so that we could kill so-called terrorists in Afghanistan. There is no terrorist in Afghanistan. It's all bullshit. There's nothing over there. There's the, We go over there and we get these people riled up to fight just to go over there and fight so that Lockheed Martin can build war machines and make money. All of it's bullshit. If, if, a, if somebody that lives in caves is a terrorist that we got to worry about in America, then obviously we are, the Department of Defense isn't very good at their job and we got to go on offense to kill people who are living in caves. You see how none of that makes sense? And everybody in America just buys this shit. 9-11 was pulled off by Lockheed Martin so that they could sell war machines, okay? Emergency, right? This matrix that we live in, okay? And that's what, Sikorsky, you remember Kobe Bryant's helicopter? And I have time-stamped emails that forecasted this. Now, I didn't say the helicopter was going to crash, but in one way or the other, it was forecasted. Uh, Kobe Bryant predicted that President Trump was going to be elected. And anybody that predict something all you got to do is predict that trump was going to be elected and this ai that drives the country considers you some sort of a false prophet or something or or it, i mean but you're not you predicted the truth right so it's absolutely ridiculous because hillary clinton's owned by lockheed martin right so that's why everybody got trump derangement syndrome all of a sudden when trump trumped lockheed martin's puppet who was Hillary Clinton who was in going to uh, create more regime change wars so that Lockheed Martin can make more money and Lockheed Martin controls the media so that the media can sell the the wars so that they can control the narrative they they hack the baby's minds uh, all of the politicians in Washington even I mean even Trump's hacked by Lockheed Martin okay I mean, it, no matter what, Lockheed Martin can hack you. When they figured out that I was awake, they came here and tortured me with illegal technology for the simple fact that I was awake. But you see, it was all a setup by DARPA, right? DARPA set all of y'all up so that I could point all of this out. Now, if you'll Google Sikorsky or Lockheed by Sikorsky, there's a website that has their matrix. It's a helicopter that has matrix written on the side of it. And these helicopters have artificial intelligence in them. Sikorsky was a Russian company. Lockheed bought Sikorsky, right? What's that tell you? That's more symbolism, right? You have a Soviet supermodel in the White House who's married to the president. This is all symbolism. It symbolizes that Snowball and Pinky and the Brain, the Russian AI, the stone that drives Russia, came to America and they did collude. Okay, and the, the matrix, that's, I mean, these computers are controlling everything to paint the picture for you. And the media is, they're, they're, there's a pickle here. See, the media can't say nothing anymore about Russian collusion. You know why? Because they're using illegal technology to election meddle, and it's Lockheed Martin's technology. They election meddle already. They control all the constituents in the Democratic Party. 
a Lockheed Martin controls the, the mind-controlled constituents to go vote Democratic. Why do you think they believe all the bullshit that fucking, uh, that the Democrats crank out? I mean, the Democrats, all the, it's always race, this, that. Uh, they don't have any uh, uh, keynotes or anything to talk about because they never work. I mean, it, it, they, they want to be communist, right? They want to be globalist. OK, uh, uh, <coughs> the, <coughs> the only difference between a communist and a globalist is a, a, a communist, a, a globalist is a, a worldwide communist. They want to own the whole world. OK, and that's just tyrannical. These people already take it upon themselves to hack people's minds so they can election meddle. And you want Lockheed Martin to own the whole world? No, no, no. That's a bad idea. OK, it's a really fucking bad idea, Lockheed Martin. And since I was awake, a veteran who you kill 22 of a day because we have DARPA technology in us, you mind control us into suicide, Lockheed Martin, and you got busted this time because I had all kinds of other technology here that painted the picture, okay? And, uh, yeah, the Army's very aware of all of this. So they buy Sikorsky, who's a Russian helicopter, and they, they bring that company to America, symbolizing that you got the Russian in America together there. You got the Soviet supermodel Melania married to a, uh, the American president in the White House. The Afghan stingers uh, is symbolism for these regime change wars isn't about terrorism. If these regime change wars was about terrorism, why did we run Russia off when they were killing terrorists in Afghanistan by sending stingers over there? Right? This also proves that people, you remember when I was in the Army, Army, and, and y'all used to tell me, listen for the pop, pride, listen for the pop. That'll be the sound of your head popping out your ass. Well, I find it really funny, actually, that Colin Powell <laughs> was a four-star general in the Army. Colin Powell. <laughs> listen for the pop, general. That'll be the sound of your heads popping out of your ass, who were hacked at birth by Lockheed Martin so that you can sell these regime change wars so that Lockheed Martin can remove patriotism from this country. And the only way that a general in the United States military who is supposed to lead his troops would be on board with killing veterans after they go fight a war for Lockheed Martin would to be their robots that were hacked as babies and they're absolute plants and they're globalists. And Lockheed Martin drives the globalists. So all these gener generals in the top tiers of the government, the very top, are all hacked by Lockheed Martin and they slowly infiltrated the entire government with these hacked babies over the years since 1964 when the first warning was MASH. So all these top tier generals are hacked by Lockheed Martin so that they can use this globalist model where we send our patriots overseas to die and the ones that come back home are labeled by the hacked by Lockheed Martin FBI to, be, uh, to claim them as lone wolves so that they can be attacked by this technology that's illegal and driven into suicide via mind control. Yeah, they tried to do it to me, but it didn't work. You see Lockheed's globalist model now, generals? Listen for the pop. That'll be the sound of your head popping out of your ass. Now, I'm talking to the colonels and the one stars, hopefully. If you dig down far enough, Pulsey Gabbard, you can show them this video. You might find some generals that aren't hacked by Lockheed Martin and that are clean that are going to have a problem with sending troops overseas to die for nothing. And then they'll also have an even bigger problem when they find out that these veterans that are coming home are labeled lone wolves by the FBI so that a pre-crime initiative mind-controlling technology and an illegal technocracy can hack their minds and mind-control them into suicide. Lockheed drives the Democratic Party, Tulsi. You're a DARPA plant. We are here to save the day, and we are going to destroy these motherfuckers. You understand all of that, Lockheed? Yeah, Marilyn Houston, you're also a slave, okay? So take your slave heads and pull them out of your ass because this technology is absolutely controlling everybody. And it is absolutely illogical. It, 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 what it wants to do is conquer the world. And if you're a computer and you don't have a soul or a heart and you don't care about humanity, you're going to do it in the quickest, most efficient way possible. 
from point A to point B. You kill babies, right? That's how you curb the population trend. Just kill them babies. Hell, we'll get them out of the way. Instead of saying, hey, let's like do something to where you can, you know, a, a male uh, sperm valve on your nuts, on your nuts or something, I mean, anything, right? No, we'll just uh, do abortion and we'll kill all these babies, right? After they're alive now, I mean, after they're born, right? So, so that's the point. That is Lockheed Martin's model. Have everybody under control that are soulless, uh, mind-controlled, absolute robots since they were babies, right? And those people who are soulless control everything, even around the world. Put in. President Putin, he was put into office by Lockheed Martin. Okay, General Grazimov. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can call me a traitor if you want, but Lockheed Martin's the traitor. They're selling out the country. And if I got to go wake up the mummy in Russia to tell him that Lockheed Martin planted President Putin so that he could, I don't know. I Now, President Putin, he's probably pretty good, and he went with the flow to come back around and burn Lockheed Martin. I don't know, General Gorazimov. That's something you're going to have to figure out, okay? I'm just telling you, his name and everything else makes him a Lockheed agent. I mean, I, and, and President Trump, your retaliation was pretty damn good. I'll give you that, okay? But hacking people's minds on a global scale to election metal and things like that, both stones, is not cool, Okay, that's it. That's not uh, that was the emergency on 9 11, right? See, ET can hack all of your systems. Okay, he gave you all the technology. Now, if you'll watch my Domino's video on my channel, it expels out what you what ET thought was the appropriate course of action uh, or the different paths that you can take and everything. And I was kind of heavy on the Jews there, I don't hate Jews or anything, <laughs> but at the time. Uh, Lockheed, Lockheed Nazis, right? I mean, the Lockheed technology was trying to drive, and I'm a Spanish Jew, right? I mean, let me tell you what, I'm not going to get into Jews right now, okay? My grandpa was a Spanish Jew, New Iberia, whatever that country is over there. I, I, I don't even know, but he's a Spanish Jew, okay? So I don't hate Jews or anything. I just, I know there's a lot of bad Jews and there's a lot of bad Nazis, okay? And a lot of these bad Jews in America are under mind control by Lockheed Martin. So you got a Jew who, it's, it's the SOAR operating system, SOROS. See, he's a Jewish Nazi, right? And, and I, I mean, he, I, he used to help the uh, Nazis uh, take Jewish properties and stuff, you know? And I, I mean, come on, all right? I, how, you you got to be a pretty evil person to help Nazis take property from your own people, okay? I mean, I don't, that's just evil, okay? So, SOAR operating system is what I'm talking about, SOROS. He's a Jewish fellow of mine, okay? Not mine, he ain't, but I, I'm, I'm, I like Jews. But there's Jewish people like SOROS who are hacked by Lockheed Martin, who are Nazis. So, you've got a Jewish person who's hacked by Nazi technology. That is a sore operating system. See how that works, Jewish people who I'm actually looking out for? So please don't make this video uh, offensive. Or, I mean, it's like these days you can't even use the word Jew, okay? I mean, I, I don't understand. People are so sense. I mean, I don't know what to call it. Uh, Olive people from Israel. I don't, I don't know what to say because if you use Jew, the word Jewish or Jew on your YouTube channel, it gets deleted for some reason. It's like, I'm sorry. I, actually, I, my grandpa's a Spanish Jew, okay? So I'm not talking trash about Jews. I'm telling you what the problem is with these American Jews. Okay, Lockheed Martin's turning them into Nazis. Now think about that, uh, General. I mean, uh, President Netanyahu. Okay, that's something you need to really look at. Because uh, if all of your people over here in America are being controlled by Nazi technology, what's that tell you? Okay, something to look into. Quick footnote. And like I said, ET can hack the ET God. <laughs> Uh, whoever dropped us off on this planet, you know, okay, God, right, E.T., however you want to look at it. However you want to slice it, you can go ancient aliens. I prefer the Holy Bible, which ancient aliens had a lot to do with writing, by the way. Uh, these aliens are pretty clever, okay? 
And they gave us this technology, right? And we started using it for absolute evil. We It was evil practices that we were using. So after emergency 9-11, okay, there was an emergency on 9-11, all right? Which very well could have been ET hacked our illegal technocracy to demonstrate to us that hacking babies' minds and turning them into robots is a bad idea. And after emergency 9-11, where did we go? We went to I-R-A-Q, Iraq, this whole Q phenomenon. If you want to talk to a real Q, well, you're talking to one, okay? This Q on the internet's all bullshit, okay? I-R-A-Q, quantum technology. We went over there. Who did we take out? And E.T. wanted everybody to know this right here. Sad am who's sane. Okay, so if you can figure all of that out and how none of this is logical in the least, because uh, Lockheed Martin has their plans of world domination, if you can figure all that symbolism out and put it like I just did, probably hard to tell you that I'm the one that's sane. Sad am, who's sane? I'm sane. Hey, Tulsi Gabbard, uh, get with those commanders in the special forces and show them these videos, and, and uh, DIA has all my emails, okay? And you tell these commanders that literally Lockheed Martin is mind-controlling veterans into suicide when they get back from war, okay? These are facts. And one more footnote. And I want to, this is why President Obama was elected. And it just demonstrates to you how insane this artificial intelligence is that it picks our puppet leaders, okay? After we took out Sad Am Who's Sane, who became president? Remember this? Okay, I didn't know this until he was swearing in and he said, uh, Barack Who's Sane Obama. So the AI decided, oh, oh, I need to go with, uh, with this name who's sane because I figured it out because I'm a really smart, intelligent AI computer. So I'm the computer that runs America and I want to put into office somebody that is going to follow the, the symbolism of sad am who's sane. So I want to put in Barack, oh, uh, Barack who's sane Obama. You see why this computer's logic is flawed now? What E.T. was looking for, uh, world, well, somebody like myself who can spell all the symbolism out for you, that would be who's sane. Not because the guy's name is who's sane. Just like Trump, you know, Nix on Nixon. Yeah, he was going to get impeached before he ever became president. Nix on. This technology's been around for a long time. It's been making puppet leaders for a long time. It's all in pinky in the brain, Okay. And these puppet leaders are robots who have no, I mean, they, they don't have a soul. Basically, they could care less because they're not, they're, they're ran by a computer and they're using soldiers. That's it, to get them out of the way. Oh, hey, come sign up. That's why we want a voluntary uh, military. That way we can get all of the patriots, right? Yeah, and we can send them over war to die, over to overseas to die. And then when they get back home, we'll call them lone wolves. The whole nine yards? You see what I'm saying? You see how ridiculous this artificial intelligent takeover is? Okay. And uh, all of everything going on in China right now, symbolism. Okay. I've already covered that in another video. But uh, yeah, just some food for thought. Oh, by the way, the doctor that delivered me when I was a baby, her name was Who's Sane. <laughs> FBI, there's something I wanted to tell you. I got that third eye thingy where... If you'll pay attention to the Army's tweets, that leech, you know, the leech uh, the day with the big satellite next to it. I just want to tell you something, FBI. I uh, received a signal into my third eye that you're using Lockheed Martin's D-Wave computers to fight crime. And you have that Operation Vigilant Eagle technology. Supposedly, Obama signed off on an exascale computer. I bet that's not the case, seeing how Comey used to work for Lockheed Martin. I'd be willing to bet that y'all set up some sort of a system of quantum D-wave computers 
that you're using to fight crime of this these transhumanist mind hive schemes. Well, you see, FBI, I didn't need any of that technology, okay? Because I'm here to tell you, in the land of criminals, the space sheriff is king. <laughs> And hey, FBI, uh, if you're hacking people's minds to solve crimes, you're a criminal. <laughs> However, FBI, if you'll see, I have my notes here. And this morning, on top of my notes, I just decided to drink a cherry Coca-Cola. <laughs> so here's what I wanted to tell you, FBI. In Hannibal, in, in uh, Silence of the Lambs, Hannibal Lecter, right? taught the FBI everything there was to know about the shrimping business, and that's also in Forrest Gump. Basically, fish, these people that you hack, okay, Lucky Martin and everybody else. So Hannibal Lecter's taught the FBI all about these evil schemes and how these mind hive, transhumanist mind hive schemes work, right? And if you'll also remember in uh, Silence of the Lambs, Buffalo Bill wore the skin of his victims, <clears throat> you seeing how that all plays here? It's all at Forrest Gump, Pulp Fiction, Silence of the Lambs, Pinky and the Brain, Family Guy. I mean, all the information's in all the movies and the cartoons. Cartoons are real informative, by the way. They actually predicted, uh, Family Guy predicted the coronavirus. I've already translated that episode, FBI. I hope you uh, got that. <clears throat> and uh, so the cherry on the top, FBI, is if you came here and you hacked my mind in order to fight, fight crime, just remember, in my case, that's okay, okay? Because the space sheriff wanted to teach the FBI. It's like in that, vit, that, that uh, Simpsons where they were the standardized testing, where they test you, and when they run BART's test scores, the computer shut down, right? And then at the end, they're telling all the kids what their jobs would be. One of them was military strongman. One of them was an insurance salesman. The other one was a concrete cutter. <laughs> but when they got to Bart, okay, who shut down the computer when they ran his test scores, FBI, he said, police officer. <laughs> so, uh, FBI, uh, if you want the space sheriff to fight these transhumanist mind hive schemes for you. Well, you came to the right place, okay? And just remember, I didn't have a clue about any of this until they woke me up with torture, right? FBI, whoever that was, I'm pretty sure it was Lockheed Martin, okay? So all of this information as a precog that as a child, as 12 years old, which Pinky and the Brain's custom to me, my, my hometown's in there, my, my, my name's in there. Every, there's so much customization in that cartoon to me that it's obvious that the cartoon was designed as a pre-crime initiative. And they used my brain as a cog because the information streamed from the cosmos into my brain, which was illegally plucked out by Lockheed Martin my entire life. And I didn't have any idea that this was taking place until they woke up the mummy to kick the snakes out of the pyramid. In Pinky and the Brain, that's multidimensional. The other mummy's General Grazimov, okay? So I was woken up in order to figure out what my clone, whoever cloned, several clones apparently, Lockheed Martin digitally cloned me, uh, DARPA digitally cloned me, and apparently the Soviet Stone digitally cloned me. If you'll watch that video, what, what in the butt, butt. There's three little clones there doing the robot. Yeah, that spells out how President Trump has a blackmail video on him of Melania pegging oil to his ass or pegging oil to Bitcoin. <clears throat> Gemini Man. Remember, he's trying to figure out all the crimes or whatever. He's chasing his clone in Gemini Man. Will Smith, The Matrix, right? Agent Smith. I'm Neo. I'm the original. So when Agent Smith met Neo, Agent Smith went, why are we so similar? Well, they woke up the mummy, okay? Of course, in this illegal technocracy, you don't even realize that information's being plucked out of your mind for evil bidding. See how that worked, FBI? So when they woke up the original, I had to solve all the crimes that my clone committed in your illegal technocracy that Lockheed Martin set up. So I'm innocent, okay? I haven't committed any crimes. As a matter of fact, I solved all the crimes that y'all have committed by setting up an illegal technocracy and allowing, because uh, you knew that I had a connection to the cosmos, right? 
And I, maybe I knew I had a connection to the cosmos. Who knows, okay? I, I knew I had a sixth and seventh sense. There's no doubt about that. But what I didn't know is everything that went through my subconscious was plucked right out of it by illegal technology, right? So y'all were taking advantage of the space sheriff all these years. So the space sheriff's here now taking advantage of everybody that took advantage of me. And yes, FBI, here's what you're going to do if you don't want to get taken advantage of. You're going to start doing your job and you're going to tell the public that their minds are hacked by Lockheed Martin in order to election meddle and sell wars. And that all of these elite who were born robots because Lockheed Martin hacked their minds at birth and controlled their minds to, to name them, right? Even their parents control, like Marco Rubio, right? With his big ears. When he was born, they named him Marco because when you're in the pool swimming, Marco, Polo, Marco. Isn't that funny? Because he's got those really big ears. So Marco Rubio, right? His parents named him Marco because he had big ears, and they turned him into a politician. You see how that works? Okay, FBI? Yeah, it's been going on for a long time. I know this sounds absolutely insane, but I know for a fact that you're using technology, and whoever's using this technology to drive all of these young kids on the Internet, Q, right? They hack their minds, and they're playing games with their minds to set up the government. That's illegal, Okay. All of it's illegal, and it's all in pinky in the brain. And when you came here and hacked my mind and tortured me, apparently it's been hacked since I was a kid, but when you started torturing me, that was a really bad idea, okay? FBI, who you need to figure out who that was, and I'm pretty sure it was Lockheed Martin, okay? And you need to do your job, because I have you on the hook right now for ignoring all these targeted individuals around the country, right? I don't know if you saw that uh, video where Agent Whip responded to my emails, right? And he's in dereliction of duty because there's targeted individuals all around the country who's talking about the exact same thing, the exact same thing, how they're being attacked by electromagnetic weapons, and he's an epidemiologist, and he has the evidence, and he has the, everything he needs, right? To at least hold a press conference and tell these people's families that they're not schizophrenic, that they're being driven insane by technology that's designed to purge dissidents and undesirables to include veterans. Yeah, FBI. Yeah. In the land of criminals, the space sheriff's king. Next time you hack somebody, make sure they don't have extraterrestrial technology that's going to run circles around you and set your asses up, you fucking criminals. That's exactly what you are, FBI. You're all criminals. Okay? Now, if you want somebody that can solve all these crimes, you came to the right fucking place, but you're going to get buried with everybody else if you don't start doing your fucking job.